Well, hello, Pray and Share Warriors. How are y'all doing tonight? I hope that you are doing great. I am having a good day. It's a good Friday. Tomorrow's Saturday. All right. Well, tonight we are going to do Psalm 32. And I don't know what else we'll read. I don't know. We may read something else. I want to read to you what I shared today. It really doesn't probably have anything to do with Psalm 32, but it might. Um, I wrote about, I wanted to talk to you about quiet time also, which is something that I really enjoy. I like mine in the mornings. Um, so yeah, we'll talk about that too. Just wanted to encourage you, if you don't have a special place that you meet God, your favorite chair, a cup of coffee, you know, something, then do try to think of a favorite place. A lot of people like to meet God outside and that's okay too. I'm more of a inside body instead of an outside body. So I like to meet him here in my office. I have a little corner that I read my Bible. I read my devotional. I pray for people. I pray for things that are going on in my life. I ask God to speak to me. It's just my time with him. And I really enjoy it. All right. First of all, we're going to pray. Then I'll, I'll share with you about... Um, the song and then we will do Psalm 32 and I may get off of here pretty quick I need to go um, warm up Seth's dinner he's having spaghetti again tonight we had spaghetti last night I don't know why I didn't come and do this last night but I did not Um, I kind of got a headache from watching TV I think without my glasses I need new glasses. Anyway, let's pray. God, we just um, we just come before you, God, and we thank you because you are the great Jehovah and you are the great I am. And you are on your throne, God. You know us all so intimately. You know our hearts. You know our minds. You know everything about us. And we praise you for that, God. You are our creator, our sustainer, our provider, our protector. You are our shelter in the storm. God, there is no God like you. You are mighty and magnificent and powerful. You are the righteous judge that will judge all unrighteousness. But yet you are loving and kind and compassionate and caring. You are faithful. You are trustworthy. You are patient. You want none to perish, God. Thank you for calling us as your children. Thank you for loving us. We love you with our whole heart, our soul, our mind, and our strength. And God, we do cry out to you for the lost. We pray, God, that you would open their eyes and their ears and their hearts to the truth, God, that you would allow the Holy Spirit to draw them to Jesus so that they could be saved. We pray for the prodigals, God. We just pray for them to remember the relationship that they had with you and to return, to repent, and to be reconciled. God, there's so many disasters right now going on every day. We just pray that you would meet the needs of these people, God, wherever they are, whatever they're going through, God, that they would feel your presence, that you would send the hands and feet of Jesus, the loving compassion of Jesus to meet their needs. God, we pray for, um, we pray for all these people that are in uprights, God, rightly so for their freedoms. God, we just pray for great success for them. We just pray for great success here in the United States as we stand up against tyranny because that's what it is. It's tyranny. God, it is not. We have rights as Americans and we should be able to exercise those rights. There should be choice 
in this vaccine. It should not be a mandate. There should be choice. So God, we just pray that people will stand up for the truth and uh, peacefully stand up for the truth, that they will peacefully stand up, God, for your truth. You're the one that gave us the rights, God, that we stand on. God, we just pray for all the people that have lost loved ones. We just pray for peace, comfort, and strength, God. And we pray for um, all the people that are sick. We just pray for healing, God, that they would feel your presence. And in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Well, all right, my pray and share warriors. I I have a, I have a frame on Facebook has bubbles and everything but i can't find special effect i mean not facebook on youtube with my camera with my uh cyberlink ucam 9 camera which isn't very clear i'm thinking about finding something else but i like that you can add different things i wish that you could on youtube i don't really like their special effects that they have okay well let's read this my bangs are just really, I, I cut them on Wednesday, hurriedly, and I'm seeing really how crooked they are. But that's okay, I can always do some more whacking on them the next time I wash my hair. Okay, so this is what I shared about this song, and it is called Favorite Place. Such a beautiful song. I absolutely, I absolutely this song. Well, I absolutely love this song. Let me edit that. I absolutely love this song. Yes, I amaze myself. Well, okay. I absolutely love this song. I absolutely love it. People that saw my typo are going to go, where'd her typo go? Oh, man, I have to move it over here. Oh, it won't let me scroll down. Oh, there we are. Sorry. Just, I don't like typos, and I do them. I'll go back and I'll fix them. Oh, man. All right, well, that's good enough. I absolutely love this song and message by Carrie Job. Uh, okay, there we are. I'm back to my original. I absolutely love this song and message by Carrie Job. Um, I love these lyrics. I have a favorite place to meet God every morning, afternoon, or evening because sometimes I don't always get to meet Him at the same time. I shoot for morning every morning. And I have a certain time that Seth is doing something else and I can come in here and meet with God. And uh, so I shoot for that, but sometimes it doesn't happen. Most times it does. Most times I do my quiet time in the mornings. So he always meets me there or anywhere. I mean, I can meet God in my car. I can be driving down the road and I can spend some time with God. So your time spent with God, your quiet time, is really not limited to one place or one area. But it is nice to have that favorite place where you meet, where you're comfortable. I bring my coffee in here and I drink my coffee. If I'm not praying, I drink my coffee while I am journaling my conversation with God. Um... He knows all about me. He personally knows all about me. Knows my heart, knows my mind completely. Knows the good, bad, and ugly. He does for all of us. It's just not me. Um, he knows the date, exact second that I invited his son into my heart to be my savior and Lord of my life. He knows it all, past, present, and future sins. Why would I want to meet with anyone else but God? I really pray that all of you have a favorite place to meet God. 
a war room of sorts because it is where I do war with prayer on my knees also. Um, many would rather meet God in his creation, and that is okay too. I talked about that. Choose a place and meet with him every day, not just on Wednesday and Sunday, but personally every day. Read his word, pray, praise, and stop to listen to what he is speaking into your heart. Be in tune to what the Holy Spirit is saying also, and follow Jesus, our shepherd, as closely as possible. If Jesus is not your savior,